Welcome. My name is Omer Kayyum. I am the CTO and co-founder of Yfrost. Yfrost is a 5G for rural broadband company with a mission to connect the next billion people to the internet. Today, we will talk about our first product, which is a 4G fixed wireless system that utilizes unlicensed TV spectrum, also known as TV white spaces. The goal of the, this video is to show you the unboxing process and show you how easy and simple it is to set up end, the end-to-end -end base station and this client setup. Everything that we have designed is cloud first and cloud only network management. All the devices once powered up connect to our cloud network management system and all the configuration is automated. First, we will look at what's in the box. We ship three pieces of hardware, the, e the EPC or the 4G core gateway, the base station and the client device. We also ship a base station antenna. So let's go over all the devices. In this box, we have the EPC gateway or the 4G core and its power adapter. Next, we have the Wifrost TV white space base station, which uses standard LTE. The base station has two antenna ports on one side and an ethernet port. This is power over ethernet. This is IP67, so fully waterproof and outdoor deployable. And on the other side, there is a GPS port. We have five LEDs. And this is power over ethernet, so it comes with a PoE adapter. The PoE adapter will also come in the box. And then there will be some installation brackets that are very easy to use and common and comes with the right nuts and bolts that you need to attach to the base station. Next, we will look at the TV white space CPE. Let's see what's in the box. What you see is the CPE antenna. It's a single piece integrated CPE antenna. Comes with its own PoE adapter. So I'll unbox this. And then in the foam are some attachment brackets that attach on the back of the antenna. This is the front side of the CPE. When we look at the back, you will see there are mounting brackets, which are very standard and simple to use. And then this is the actual CPE radio. On the CPE radio, if you look closely, there are two ports. One is the ethernet port, and the other is the SIM card slot. There is already a SIM card inserted. We can push it out and get the SIM card out. The copper plate has to be on top when we insert the SIM card back in. There's also a reset button right here. Both of these ports come with their, with their own weatherproof covers. The CPE is also IP67, designed for outdoor deployment. The CPE is also power over ethernet. Comes with its own power over ethernet adapter, cables, as well as the waterproof boots for the CPE. Next, we'll look at the base station antenna. This is about a 14 dBi gain with 75 degree horizontal beam width with two mounting brackets on the back. Let's look at the ports at the bottom. We have three ports at the bottom, two RF and one GPS. As I showed you, the base station also has two RF ports and one GPS port. I will flip this around so we can look at the antenna ports. So we can look at the antenna brackets. The antenna brackets are pretty standard. They have the ability and markings for 
mechanical down tilting here. Let's look at the ports and how everything will be connected. We have the Ethernet 0 port here, we have the Ethernet 0 port here, and the Ethernet 1 port. The Ethernet 1 port gets DHCP from any core router, in, which in this case will be my home router. I will plug the Ethernet 1 port to the home router. So now the EPC gateway is accessible through our cloud network management system. On the base station side, we powered up the PoE adapter. The power, the data out or power and power port will be connected to the PoE or the ethernet port here for the base station and the LEDs are gonna light up. The data in port will be connected to either directly to this EPC gateway or through a switch. In this case, I'm just going to connect it directly but there can be a 10 port switch or 24 port switch or any layer two connectivity from the base station to the EPC and the configuration is, stays the same. Next, we need to connect the antenna ports. In this case, we won't be using the large antenna that I showed you because that's for tower installation. For testing, we have a smaller antenna right here. I'll connect the two RF ports here. This antenna is cross polarized, so we do not need to worry about which port connects to, on the base station connects to which port on the antenna. Any, any, any way that you connect will work. After everything is connected and powered up, let's look at the cloud network management system dashboard. So far, we have looked at how all the devices are connected. We've performed zero configuration steps. I've just logged in to our cloud NMS. I'm on the Wifrost US account, which is our account. And then the demo device is now showing up here. The base station shows up as transmitting on these channels with one CPE connected. We can look at the EPC real quick. This is the demo EPC that's connected. We can go into the details take a look from there we can go into the base station details and take a quick look uh, on the status of the device i perform channel scan so the scan results are, are okay and uh, now we will look at the cpe so so i powered up a cpe we see the basic rf parameters for the client radio it's pretty close so this, the rssi is really hot we'll go into the details and then from here you can actually look at all the basic RF parameters for the client radio as well. Now we will go to the CPE, which is outside, which is installed outside the house. And I will show you a couple of quick things over there. Now we are at the CPE. Uh, I have another video where I explain how to install the CPE, but let's look at what we have here. So we have a power over ethernet adapter, which typically will be inside the house and an ethernet cable from the PoE will actually run and insert into the only ethernet port at the antenna. At the bottom, we have eight LEDs. The bottom four show power, RF, SIM card. And then the top four actually show the signal strength. So one LED means weak signal and all four green LEDs on the top show really strong signal. The other end of the PoE adapter, LAN, goes into either the Wi-Fi router or I will right now plug it into my PC and we can do a couple of speed tests. My backhaul here is actually T-Mobile fixed wireless. So the speed test is actually going up to 75 megabits per second. If, I, if you have a fiber backhaul, you should expect the radio link to go close to 95 megabits per second here. I hope the video was useful. Please drop me an email or comment on the video if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you so much.